so excited to talk to you today, Nicole. Oh, I think you guys me. do such a fabulous job with fun, interactive stations. So I can't wait to hear your ideas for our station today. But tell me a little bit about Simply Catering. What makes you unique in the market of, of catering? First and foremost, we're a family owned and operated business. Um, and so we really, we started using our grandmother's recipes. Um, and then over time, as we're developing our brand and trying to figure out who we are in the world of catering in the Atlanta market, um, we decided that it was really important to be transparent and have a flexible planning process. So um, we post all of our menus, all of our pricing online. Uh, and then what's kind of unique about us is that we actually allow the client to have essentially up until two weeks before the wedding to actually finalize their menu. So that gives them the opportunity to come in, have a private tasting, work with me throughout the months um, to work on food presentation, uh, customization and in ingredients. We take so many of our clients' recipes um, because we really feel like food and fellowship after the ceremony is so important. Important. Um, and so we really like to reflect the client and their family's personality in their menu. Very nice. Thank you. And as you're kind of getting to know the client and reflecting their personality in the menu, like how do you come up how, with these really interactive, you know, stations and display ideas, these unique display ideas? So, um, yeah, a lot of it, I'm just, I'm inspired by certain restaurants. Mm -hmm. I'm inspired by, again, my client's recipes. Um, I love working with event planners and designers and kind of um, collaborating on what they're using, what type of pieces they're using, um, and then incorporating all of those same elements when we're building and designing our stations. So sometimes that comes to a surprise to some of my clients because mm -hmm. they picture it just being about food. Right. Um, and so I, I like to just let them know that we really truly want to be a part of the overall aesthetic and, and really work with the florist and work with the designer, the rental companies to really make it just an all over impact in every area of the room. So today we have tequila shrimp taco parfait. Yes. So walk us through how a guest would build this at a wedding or event that you're catering. Sure. So first and foremost, I like something like this because it can be utilized as an interactive station where we've got a chef actually assembling okay. it in front of them and then it can just kind of be like a grab and go. Nice. Or kind of what I have going on today is like a bar because mm -hmm. we're doing a spring fiesta, whereas the guests would actually customize their parfait as they go through. Nice. So in theory, we would have everything kind of staged and ready for them to go. They would grab their vessel, and again, they can choose their vessel throughout the planning process. We would get to that. Um, and then really, it's just a matter of figuring out what you like. And mm -hmm. so today, we have black beans. So I would layer black beans. Of course, you can put as little or as much as you'd like. We've got sweet corn. I've got cherry tomatoes. I'm going to do just a little because okay. I'm not super crazy about tomatoes, but I love the color. Yes. And then avocado, which is always my favorite. So I'm gonna put that on there. And you don't have to be, you know, a perfectionist about it. At the end of the day, all that matters is that it tastes good, but the idea is to layer it like a parfait. Mm -hmm. Then I've got some queso fresco, which is a uh, Mexican inherited cheese. Now, when I'm working with the client, um, just to give you an example mm -hmm. of how we can truly customize this, I always like to give options. So I would right. say, you know, instead of doing a cherry tomato, we can do an heirloom plum tomato. Okay. Instead of doing a queso fresco, we could do more of a cottage cheese or we could do more of a feta. Nice. Um, so just to kind of give you an example of yeah. how they truly can customize something like this. So then we have our house-made tortilla strips. So they can kind of add that on. I love the blue against the white cheese. Yes. And then my personal favorite, <laughs> the tequila infused shrimp. Oh my gosh, amazing. And then the other thing you notice, Michelle, is that you know they don't have to put the shrimp on there. Right. So it can still work and accommodate all of your vegetarian yes. guests, which is always nice. But this is our honey garlic vinaigrette. So I always wow. like doing a vinaigrette with something like this, mm -hmm. just because again, it's lighter, it's springtime. Right. And of course, this is gonna be something the guests can apply or we could have a chef attendant mm. that could kind of top it off at the end. Again, as little or as much as you'd like. Then you grab your fork and you are ready to dig in. Beautiful. Thank you. Thank you so much, Nicole. Thank you, I appreciate <laughs> it. All right, today for our spring fiesta, you are showing us your recipe for guava lime cocktail. Yes. Sounds amazing. You, I was say, you wanna yes. know, don't you? Okay, it's so easy. 
So what I do is I've got my muddled here. I've got some, uh, some ice. I always like to add any kind of herb first. So I'm gonna go ahead and put in some mint sprig. I'm gonna go ahead and put in the key player here, which is our tequila. I wanna do about an ounce of tequila. Fresh lime juice. Nice little splash. And then our guava juice. We're gonna fill that up to the top of the ice. Put our cap on top, make sure, make sure it's on nice and tight. <laughs> and then you just shake, my favorite part. And then you've got your glass ready to go. And again, you notice I added some in on the bottom and then you just pour it in like so. And add your cute little straw and serve to your guests. Cheers. Cheers. Thank you. Thank you.